So the biggest thing, one of the things that uh, Ghost Lock does that other kill switches, other security systems do not do is it disables the fuel pump as opposed to the starter. Right, exactly. What's the logic behind that? So disable fuel pump, success command sent. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> she tried. She tried. <laughs> All right, guys, we're up here at mass acceleration. That's right, mass acceleration. This is probably one of the best automotive uh, uh, tuning, um, high performance shops in North Carolina. Like, I've heard so many people coming up here. Shout out to my man, SRT Little. He came up here and got his charge a scat pack taken care of so today we're talking about security right installing ghost lock and we got the guys over there working on another challenger as we speak we're about to meet tracy and keegan they're the ones that's going to install ghost lock and i'll have them explain exactly what it is and we'll go from there how you doing doing good man how about <laughs> all you? right so who do we have here man so, my name's keegan yes nice to meet you Gotcha. And we're from Ghost Lock or JDI? Uh, Jordan Distributor. Jordan yeah. Distributor. Or JDI. Either gotcha. Or. Either yep. or. Yep. All right. So let's talk about the Ghost Lock. Sure. Like, uh, just kind of a, a high level overview of what it does, what it's supposed to yep. do, gotcha. what it's guaranteed to do, all that good cool. stuff. Cool. So, Ghost Lock, what it's designed to do, yeah. once you've got it fully installed, you can always know, know where your car is. Sure. No matter what. So, no mm -hmm. matter where you are and no matter where the car is, mm -hmm. especially in relation to each other, even yeah. if you're away on vacation, it's still going to function the same as if you're standing right beside the car. Gotcha. So, and you'll see that from the app. Exactly. Gotcha. So, if your car's parked, yeah. if the car moves in any way, whether it's driven away, yeah. towed away, pushed away, rolled away, mm -hmm. you get a text right to your phone to let you know the car's been moved. Gotcha. So knowing immediately mm -hmm. that something's happened with the car uh, is essential. Sure. So it'll let you know that. You can see where it is on a map gotcha. in real time. You can see mm -hmm. even where the car has been and okay. where it's going. Gotcha. There's a easy to read address. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you where the car's located. You can just put in Google Maps and go right to the car. Gotcha. Um, and then lastly, there's a button in the app you can press mm -hmm. to remotely disable the vehicle. That's the so key part. That's what separates Ghost Lock from everyone else. Exactly. So if someone started your car and idling it, or if it's actually uh, being driven, once the car gets to where uh, it's going and yeah. parked, you can disable it to where they can't just keep joy riding your car. Gotcha. So someone yeah. steals your car, you realize that it's been stolen. So Ghost Lock lets you know. Mm -hmm. Ghost Lock allows you to be able to follow it and yeah. see where it is sure. and then shut it down. Gotcha. So you, they steal the car, they take it, you can see exactly where they are, you can mm -hmm. see exactly what they're doing with the car. Yeah. And then you hit a button, remotely disable the car, mm -hmm. and it shut down, shuts down. Right. Okay, so what's the process of disabling the car? Like, what what does it disable? Because we know what kill switches are, but obviously when it's in motion, right. what separates that so, from a kill switch? Um, the, the easiest way to think about it is it's yeah. like, a, like a digital kill switch. Gotcha. So we don't ever want to disable the vehicle while it's in motion. But you can. You can certainly disable your car while it's in motion. For legal reasons, Keegan and JDI can't tell you that you can or tell you that you should disable your car while it's in motion for obvious reasons. But in the event that your car is stolen and you're like me and would rather see your car at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean because they lost power while driving and ran it off the road, as opposed to it being in the hands of a thief on their way to Atlanta to chop it up into a thousand pieces. I would highly suggest that you do what you need to do. So in theory, you shouldn't disable your car while it's in motion. But in reality, you certainly can. So always once the vehicle is parked, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually just press the button uh, and shut the vehicle down. Yeah. We're actually disabling the fuel pump. Gotcha. So then even if the thief goes to restart the car, sure. it's not going to restart either. Gotcha. So once you disable the fuel pump, it yep. pretty much sputters and then shuts down. Yeah. Yep. And so that's if for... It's, if it's idling, it'll yeah. shut down. Yeah. If it's not running, yeah. it, then it won't even be able to restart. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Okay. And that goes for Hellcats and Scat Packs. Yeah, exactly. So what's mm -hmm. cool is... We've designed a harness that works for everything from a basic V6 yeah. uh, car all the way up to Hellcat, yeah. Hellcat Red Eye, Demon, etc. Gotcha. So we have uh, the harness is a little bit different uh, depending on the model. Sure. Uh, so they're all different, uh, but we do offer one that functions the same mm -hmm. uh, for each vehicle. Gotcha. And I know you said there was a, a difference between the way that a Hellcat shuts down as opposed to a Scat right. Pack because it's an NA as opposed to a supercharged. Yeah. So mm -hmm. any of the vehicles that come from the factory without a supercharger, yeah. so Scat Pack, uh, RT RTs down to V6s. Yeah, they have a regular fuel pump like yeah. a normal vehicle in the tank mm -hmm. that is powered uh, directly by the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Whereas the oh yeah, you might come yeah. 
Whereas the Hellcat, uh, the Hellcat Red Eye, mm -hmm. all the Hellcat uh, family of vehicles, yeah. they all have a fuel pump control module. Gotcha. So the computer controls that, mm -hmm. and that's what actually powers the pump. So with those vehicles, we interface with that. Mm -hmm. So then whenever you disable the vehicle, mm -hmm. the ECU is able to see that the fuel pump control modules go offline gotcha. and straight shut the vehicle down immediately. Immediately. Yeah, Whereas so with the... On gotcha. your car, mm -hmm. it has a, a more traditional style fuel pump. Yeah. So whenever we disable yours later today, yeah. uh, it's going to sputter a little bit because yeah. it has to actually burn the fuel out of the line. Gotcha. Uh, but it'll still shut down the same. Gotcha. So... The biggest thing, one of the things that uh, Ghost Lock does that other kill switches, other security systems do not do, is it disables the fuel pump as opposed to the starter. Right, exactly. What's the logic behind that? So, uh, disabling the starter is good, Yeah. of course. It's at least uh, better than nothing. Sure. The only problem we have with that is if the car is already running, Yeah. then if you disable the starter, mm -hmm. the car's going to stay running. Yeah. And that's not actually going to help you until the car gets to where it's going. Yeah. And then uh, turns and off. off. And it, it won't, won't be restart, able to turn. Yeah, it'll stay running, and there's no telling how far of a distance that car is going to drive exactly. before it's turned off again. Yeah. So what we've decided to do with Ghost Lock is actually uh, disable the fuel pump. Gotcha. So then, even if the car is actually started sitting yeah. here idling, if I disable it, the car is going to shut off right here in this parking spot yeah. and not even make it out of the parking lot. Not even make it out. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. So for instance, if you're at the gas station and you run in there real quickly and somebody hops in behind you and you leave exactly. your car running the with the you starter, hear that loud exhaust, yeah, and you disable it. They're not even going to leave the pump. They're not even going to leave the pump. As opposed yeah. to a starter kill switch, they would be able to take off yeah. until so, they shut the car down yeah, and then try to restart switch, it. You hear it start. Yeah. You go ahead and disable it. Yeah. They're still going to be able to drive away. They're still going to be able to drive away. Yeah. Yeah. So Ghost Lock. Yeah. We came up with the name uh, Lock, obviously, to secure your vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Ghost is cool because once it's installed, mm -hmm. it's like a ghost. You'll never yeah. know it's there. There's yeah. no extra key fob to carry. There's no weird beeps, weird mm -hmm. noises, weird flashing lights, mm -hmm. uh, anything to mount on the dash, weird, like an old school alarm back in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's truly like a ghost. You'll never know it's there. Until, gotcha. Until you need it, of course. Until you need it. Yeah. And then it pops up yeah. like a ghost. Nothing else to carry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's all just right from your phone. Gotcha. So no extra already, key fobs, already nothing. have in your pocket. Right. Yeah. When you sit in the car, you wouldn't even know it was there. Exactly. No yeah. drilled holes, if, anything like that. If you don't tell your friends you have it, yeah. they would never know. That's, what, that's exactly what a lot of people want. Gotcha. And, and it gives an actual street address. Gives you the street address. And show me the sure. screen with the remote sure, ready? disable. Yep. Gotcha. And see, that's what the setup is going to look like there. Yes. You got the option to disable ignition, enable ignition, uh, yeah. well, disable we're just fuel pump. Doing fuel pump. We're yeah. just doing the fuel pump. Yep. Those two options at the top don't even right. matter. Just those two. It's just those two. Disable fuel pump and then re-enable re it when right. it's time. Here, Glow slot. Yeah, yeah. Say it again. As you're gonna shake this off, we can set all that in here. We can get that. Sounds out. good. Yeah, yeah. We'll get it set up here mm -hmm. for you. Cool. So no splicing, no cutting, no drilling, no anything. Not even a little bit. Gotcha. Everything's pretty much plug and play right under the. Yep. So unplug. Yeah. A couple connectors on the car. Sure. And plug our stuff in. There's a, a couple ring terminals. Sure. Uh, and there's one ring terminal uh, that goes under a nut and mm -hmm. one screw. Yeah. Uh, so a simple screwdriver, a socket, a wrench, mm -hmm. uh, and a couple connectors, and you're good to go. Easy. Easy That's peasy. Okay. Um, uh, a base V6 mm -hmm. to a RT to a scat pack, yeah. Hellcat, all the different models. Yeah. What comes in the box is a little different. Sure. But once it's installed, the function's the same. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I can cut all this open if you want to do some like shots of it. That'd be perfect. Yeah. And just kind of spread it out. Here's a knife for you. Yeah, I got one. Oh no, you don't even have to cut it open. You can leave it in the plastic, that's fine. Okay. So this is the entire kit. This is not too much at all. For this one, yeah. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So one thing I always forget to do, whenever you're getting any work done, make sure you disable car lock because car lock is going off like crazy. I mean, device disconnected, disconnected, reconnected, 
uh, vibration. Look at those vibration notifications. One at 1250, 1239, 1234, 1232, 31, 24, 24, 19. Engine started from this morning. Make sure you guys disable car lock when you're getting work done. Otherwise, you're just going to get bugged. Although it is doing what it's supposed to do. I'm not hating. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. But just make sure you guys disable it because otherwise you're going to be getting uh, completely bombarded with notifications. So when you pull up the liner in the trunk, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you pull up the liner. And of course, for you guys that didn't know, your battery is in the trunk. Fails would never know. All right, guys. So once you get the system completely installed, the only telltale sign that something's even been installed, once you get the liner and stuff back on here, is this little, and I'll try to brighten it as much as I can, there's a wire underneath here. You see what I'm touching here? That's the only way that you would know something extra is in the car. Otherwise, it's completely normal. Like once, because everything goes where it's supposed to go, and that's the only thing that's sticking out more so than normal. Air here, air there. Sure. And you think it's in, but yeah. you really got to push hard to get it clicked in all the way. Gotcha. And then you'll see the tracker light up. Mm-hmm. And it'll stay lit for three minutes, and then it goes out to make it more stealthy, harder to Gotcha. Find. Yes. So if you plug your tracker in, you're mm -hmm. activating it, you see the lights go out? Yeah. It's 100% normal. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So I'm sure somebody would have that question. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh, we, it's not working. We got an email one time. Guy's like, hey, my tracker stopped working. I only had it plugged in five minutes. What the heck? It's supposed That's normal. To. Yeah, yeah. Just to make it easier to hide. For so the sake of discretion. Yeah, you never yeah. see any flashing lights anywhere. Gotcha. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. All right. So, so that's his blue challenger right there. All right. So go to TrackMate GPS. Yep. And here's my challenger. Yeah. Sitting right there. Yeah. All right. Also, you get a... So those Text are all my notifications. Gotcha. So if I start the car, mm -hmm. I get a notification. Gotcha. If the car moves notification. out of my certain zones, yeah. I get a notification. Gotcha. So. I think it also depends on where you're sitting at. True. And that was it. You got the look, got the notification. Yep. Yep. That's not bad. What's that? Twenty seconds. Yep. That's not bad. Okay. So it even gives Comes you the address. In, gives you the address. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So I just got my notification. Just got the notification. But wanna? Yeah. Kill it. Kill it. You hit the enable fuel pump or disable fuel pump? Disable fuel pump. Gotcha. Wow. That's it. And to enable it. Just go back to yeah. enable fuel pump. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's it. I like that. <laughs> that cool? I like that. You heard it choke too a little bit, like yeah, you know, yeah, getting yeah, that fuel yeah, out the line. Yeah, just like you're running out of fuel. Yep. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> that you're getting, it'll be like you turn the switch off, right? Yep. Good stuff. Yeah. So what do we want to do? Disable fuel pump. Disable fuel pump. <laughs> she tried. She tried. <laughs> and then just re enable it, right? Yep. Right. So re enable. Enable fuel pump. Yep. Give it a few seconds. Give it a few seconds. 
couldn't hear me because my exhaust was so loud. That's a slight flex. Basically, when you remote started once, and we were just doing this for the sake of testing the software out, when you remote started and you disable the fuel pump, Dodge has a mechanism in place that basically says, once the engine dies and it doesn't know why it died, it automatically disables remote start. So you have to, that first time after you've disabled the fuel pump, sit in the car and actually start it. And then after that, you're good to go. Which makes sense, because if somebody steals your car and you disable their fuel pump, um, you don't want them to be able to use the key fob or whatever key fob they program to just remote start your shit and take off. You know what I'm saying? You have to actually be in there with the key fob, manually start it, then you're good to go. But did you see that? I've never heard my engine do that before. I like that. So essentially, it's the same principle as just no fuel is coming to the engine. Once that fuel pump is disabled, your car literally dies. And you saw my car die. You saw my man's car die. He's got a, a SCAT 6.4 slim body with the shaker, and I've got the wide body 2020. It works the same way. Now, if you got a red eye and up, they got to design something a little special for you, but their website has that as well. I'll put the information in the description. So far, I'm excited. And we did everything from the phone too. So once you disable it and your car dies, all you have to do is hit the enable button. You'll get a notification that the command has been sent. Then you can sit in your car and start it up and you're good to go. It doesn't choke the engine or anything like that, to my understanding. It doesn't mess with the PCM. Everything's good. Trust me when I say I wouldn't be putting it on my car if, if it wasn't. And trust me when I say I asked a thousand questions, but it looks good to me. So we'll go from there. So where is the ghost lock at? Can someone point out ghost lock? Where is it? I don't see anything in here. And what's cool is, bed. even if we go look in, yeah. let's look under here. Yeah. Where the battery is? Yeah. You still don't see it. Where's ghost? <laughs> Where is it? It's There's a ghost, nothing. man. It's a ghost. It's a ghost. It's nowhere to be found. Ghost lock. So you see it there, ghost lock. As soon as I started it up, it sends a notification. And you said it'll send one when you... Yeah, so anytime uh, the car started, it'll yeah. send you a text like it just did. Yeah. When you turn the car back off, you get another one just like that. Gotcha. And what's cool, anytime you start or stop the car, yeah. it's going to attach the address there too. Good stuff. So if you drive it to a gas station, shut the car off to get gas, it'll mm -hmm. send you the new address. Good stuff. You always, always know where the car's located. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think we're good. Can we drive it around for a minute? Just bring it. Yeah. I'll be right back. You know, just hold it. Hold that and get me pulling off. All right, here. Before y'all get on me, I know that my passenger side exhaust tip has shifted under the body of the car. I know that. And since this video has come out, I've gotten that taken care of and readjusted. So trust me when I say I know it. All right, so save the jokes, okay? We're good to go. And you get one ignition turned off as soon as I get out the car. I like that. <laughs> I like that. 
turn the ignition off. Yeah, okay. Sick. All right, so I just wanted to film this video here from beginning to end, the entire process of starting a car, uh, remote disabling the fuel pump, and then restarting the car. And all of this is done from the app, of course. So check it out. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Ghost Lock. All right, so head over to their official website at jordandistributors.com. Once you get there, head over to Ghost Lock for Dodge vehicles. Once you get there, click on the drop down box, pick a vehicle. Uh, the installation and the actual product itself depends on the type of car that you have, whether it's a supercharged or non supercharged models. They've got a 06 to 16 Charger and Challenger covered, 17 plus, as well as Track Hawk. So they got you covered pretty much from 06 on, right? Uh, once you get there, use my discount code knockout360, no space. That's knockout360, no space for an additional $40 off your entire order. That's knockout360, no space for an additional $40 off. At the end of the day, guys, this product is legitimate. I showed you exactly how it worked. I showed you the installation. Um, Tracy and Keegan were super cool guys. Uh, the professionalism was top notch. They knew exactly what the product was and they knew how it was going to work on my car. And I really appreciate that. And they explained the entire process the entire way. Okay. Uh, great guys, great product. They stand behind it and I stand behind it as well, because at this point I have it on my car. Also go check them out on Instagram under the same name, Jordan distributors, tell them knockout 360 sent you. If you got any questions, hit them up on their website or on Instagram in the DMS. Uh, ask questions, guys. That's what they're there for. They've got all the answers. Trust me when I say that. Uh, other than that, it's been your boy, Knockout360. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.